Good morning. It's Michelle Chapman with Keto is Life, and <clears throat> I am filming from ta-da my trailer, and it will be um, three weeks now. We've been living here full time, and I have to tell you, we've run into challenges, but um, keto related, it's actually been more challenging because cooking in a limited kitchen and on a grill has, um, I think, challenged the way that I prepare food and how much I prepare, of course, because I don't have the unlimited resources that I did when I was living in a, you know, stick house uh, with a huge kitchen. So I did make a keto bread. Uh, I made a flax delicious bread, which turned out great. My oven works uh, really well. Um, of course, you're not going to be able to make things that rise too much, but luckily for us, keto breads aren't big on rising, so uh, they worked out good. I didn't do the fish in the trailer last night. I did make some salmon. I was more concerned about the smell because that's another thing you have to worry about. In a stick house, you can open all the windows and air it out or turn on your big hood fan um, to get those smells out, you know, things like bacon and uh, things that have a really strong smell that, that tend to hold on. When you're in a small environment like this, where your bedroom is right here, you know, um, you can't get away from it. It doesn't tend to air out as quickly and I didn't want to be sleeping all night smelling fish so I used one of those um, mesh kind of inserts and put that on the grill outside with the fish on top it came out fantastic I just heat, re heated the um, grill up and then once it was nice and hot, I put the fish out there on the little pan, closed the top. It probably took 12 to 15 minutes before you see the fat kind of coming out. It was really thick on one end and really skinny on the other. So the skinny end got a little overcooked, but the, the bigger side was really well done, really um, came out nicely. So, and he didn't come home until about an hour after that. So I topped it, I covered it to kind of keep the warmth in after I took it off the grill, but I ended up having to reheat it in the mic for um, like 30 seconds just to get some of that heat going again when he got back home. And I did, I bought a rice cauliflower that you can steam in the bag, and I always add uh, three or four tablespoons of cream cheese to it, and then I mic it for, you know, another minute, let it kind of melt down, and then I seal the bag up, and I squish it, squish it around, maybe add some parsley and whatnot, just to give it some extra oomph, and uh, he likes that, with a little bit of salad on the side. So that was a, a good dinner last night, didn't take me forever to make, uh, and I loaded the crock pot last night with a version of my chili-ish, chili, uh, beanless chili, which I had some uh, uncased sausage, um, Italian stylish sausage that you can buy, packaged up just like a pound, and then some grass-fed beef, a uh, ground beef, and I just fried those in the frying pan with some onions, and I had a red pepper that I uh, cut up, and I put in some garlic. And then I just threw it, once that was done, I don't usually, I don't scoop off the, like I don't drain off the fat, but when I take the meat out of the pan, I tip the pan and I scoop from the top. So a lot of the pooling of the, um, you know, of the fats stays down there, only because I don't like a huge amount of fat in my chili. You know, uh, some people like to keep it. I just, it looks like a grease slick and it's not appetizing and I know he doesn't like it so it's still fairly fatty but um, I just leave the pooling stuff down below. So I put all that in the crock along with um, usually two cans of 
tomatoes, whatever I have on hand. I think I had a diced and a crushed. I put a small can, one of those little four ounce cans of jalapenos, uh, diced, just threw that in there. And then just whatever uh, spices you like, like a tablespoon of chili pepper, some cumin, some oregano, salt, pepper, and I add a little bit of coconut aminos, uh, just to give it a kind of... Now when I tried it, it is spicy. So sometimes when I um, make the bowls up, I'll squirt a little bit of sour cream on the top to kind of take that heat down a little bit. So you mix that in. So um, those are two really good dishes to have on hand. And the pot, the crock pot made about, I don't know, probably 10 to 12 servings. So not bad. I, add a, I added a little bit of beef um, bone broth, about a cup, I think, and um, that made it a little soupy, not too bad. I mean, you can add to taste, you know, add it as you go. And it was, it sat for about six hours. So two really good dishes, um, really fast. You make them both at the same time and eat some later. I packed up the rest of his fish and the cauliflower for lunch today with some salad and he was good to go. So two really good ideas. And, um, I can't wait for tomorrow, y'all. Tomorrow's Friday. It's going to be my launch day. Uh, you can, I will post my new website on my Facebook page and y'all can have a look. All right. Happy Thursday. Keto on y'all. See you later. Bye.